Hi everyone. All right, today's video is going to be over how to solve word problems that involve two-step equations. Your objective, I will be able to create two-step equations to solve real life problems. Here are your steps. We wanna identify all of the terms, then write the equation, solve it, check the answer, and the answer should be in a complete sentence. So let's review. The variable is what the question is asking for, and it's what we don't know. The coefficient is the number multiplied by the variable. So in the word problem, they will be connected with a word such as each, per, every, of, etc. The constant is the value that is added or subtracted from these. Now, the number on the other side of the equal sign, that is the total or the end result that they give you in the problem. So let's do an example together. It costs $12 to attend a basketball clinic with a local pro. Buckets of basketballs for practice during the clinic cost $3 each. How many buckets can you buy if you have $30 to spend? So let's identify what the question is asking for. And it wants to know how many buckets you can buy. So we want to know the number of buckets. I'm going to represent that with the letter B. Now the coefficient, that's the number that has to be multiplied times the number of buckets. And it says that buckets cost $3 each. So my coefficient would be three. Now the constant, that would be $12 because it already cost $12 to attend. So you have to pay $12 in addition to the cost of the basketballs. And then what should it equal? Well, the problem wants to know how many buckets you can buy if you have a total of $30 to spend. So as an equation, it would look like this. 3B plus 12 equals 30. Let's go ahead and solve that. So I'm gonna separate the left and right side of the equation. I wanna move the constant first the inverse of adding 12 is to subtract 12. So I will subtract 12 from each side. That makes zero. And 30 minus 12 is 18. Now, to isolate the letter B, I wanna do the inverse of multiplying by three and divide by three on each side. So I am left with one B and 18 divided by three is six. But now we have to check So that means if b equals six, then three times six plus 12 should equal 30. Well, three times six is 18, and 18 plus 12 does equal 30. So we know our answer is correct. Now, our answer should be in a complete sentence. So for example, I would say, if you have $30 to spend at the basketball clinic, you could buy six buckets of basketballs. So take a moment to pause and write down your own sentence. All right, example two, Paolo has $145 in his savings account. He earns $30 a week babysitting. If Paolo saves all of his earnings, after how many weeks will he have $415 saved? So let's see what the question is asking for. It wants to know how many weeks it will take to save this amount of money. So we don't know the number of weeks, and I'm gonna represent that with a W. The coefficient is whatever we're gonna multiply by the number of weeks. He earns $30 a week. Now I know the word A, you know, we see that a lot, but that's like saying $30 per week or $30 each week. So that would have to be the coefficient. Now the constant, that would be $145, because he already has that in his savings account. So whatever he makes babysitting, that is in addition to the $145 that he already has in savings. And what should it equal? Well, the ultimate goal is to reach $415. So to write that as an equation, it would be 30W plus 145 equals 415. 
So let's go ahead and solve that. So I'm going to carry down the equal sign. The inverse of adding 145 would be to subtract it. 5 minus 5 is 0. We can't do 1 minus 4, so we borrow. Make that a 3. 11 minus 4 is 7. 3 minus 1 is 2. That cancels and becomes 0. So we have 30 W. So to isolate W, we do the inverse of multiplying by 30 and divide by 30. So we're left with 1 W. Now, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So 270 divided by 30 would also equal 9. So the number of weeks would be 9, but let's go ahead and check and make sure that's accurate. So 30 times 9 plus 145 should equal 415. Well, if 3 times 9 is 27, 30 times 9 would be 270. Now, since this is something we don't know off the top of our heads, we want to actually work it out. So 270 plus 145, will that give us 415? Well, 0 plus 5 is 5. 7 plus 4 is 11. 1, 2, and 1 make a 4. So yes, the left and right side do match. So we know it would take nine weeks. So in a sentence, I would say, after nine weeks, Paulo will have $415 in his savings account. So take a moment to pause and write your own sentence. All right, now it's time for you to try. Identify all the terms and write your equation for this problem. Solve, check your answer, and make sure your answer is in a complete sentence. Show all of your work, and we will see you next class day.